Okay, all right, Matt, I'm just gonna jump into it. Ready? All right, hop in, and I'll start grunting and groaning to guide your way. This is the entirety of FNAF lore from me, Ludwig, a guy who learned about FNAF today. And it all starts with a boy named Billy in the Depression era in the 30s who liked Bear because there was one Bear show in specific where his family could pay 50 cents to watch Bear entertain them while eating uh, food. And, and, and that was important in the Depression. And that really changed Billy, who grew up to be William, you know, the mm -hmm. parent name of Billy. And, mm -hmm. and William liked Bear so much that he decided to make a Bear, bear suit restaurant. Because he liked the bear so much, but he, he didn't know how to find a bear. So he, he, he made bear suits that humans would go in. And then, you know, he, that, he found that a bit derivative because all he did was make a bear and make it gold. He decided to also make bunny. And he was really proud of the Ooh. bunny he made. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and, then, and then somebody else sees that. They yoink it. They twist it a bit. And that guy's name Ooh. is Henry Emily, who makes a robot animal restaurant. And that shit pops off. Everybody in town wants to go to a robot animal restaurant because mm. the robots are so sick and also swag. You know, and, and Willie gets a bit jealous. The swaggiest of boss. Yeah. They're the swaggiest, the swaggiest, and William, William gets a bit jealous, he does, and his business fails. So Henry mm -hmm. helps him get out of bankruptcy, and they become business partners, which on the mm -hmm. surface would seem good, but William was still a bit of a of a jealous a-hole throughout all this and, and held mm -hmm. on to that resentment. But business is booming. They make a place, all right? Henry even gives him the naming rights. It's called... It's called uh, uh, Fred Bear's Family Diner. Goes great. This, they, they even make a second place called uh, Fred Bear's Fozzy Bear's P Pizzeria. They eat, make a freaking cartoon show. Business <laughs> is booming so much. And at this point, William's like, I got to put my pedal to the metal. I want to catch up to my business partner and my rival. I want to learn how to make a robot. Throws himself at his work. Okay. So much so that his three children, two sons, one daughter, are getting neglected. So to keep up, he has like these little spy cameras he sets up to. To keep track of him and he lets his eldest son take care of of his of his youngest son and his eldest son michael not not so good of a babysitter just not one of the best babysitters around you know uh and 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 one time on his youngest son's birthday whose name could perhaps be like uh steve or gregory or something else uh one time on, on his birthday he uh he sets up a little prank with his friends where he brings the youngest son close to an animatronic and his because his son his youngest son's scared of the animatronics and what happens when they put him so close to him, even around the mouth of it, the spring trap fucking mm -hmm. boom, and and he and he and he dies, oh. and that's the bite oh. of '87, which happened oh, in, in that sucks. it happens yeah, in 1983, right. but it was the bite of '87, <laughs> according to Markiplier. Correct. And, yeah. And and because of that, because of that, uh, William Afton was was distraught, and and instead of visiting his child because he was so distraught on his deathbed, instead he said through a plush bear, I will. Uh, b b fix you and yeah. and and blames <laughs> blames yep. henry emily mm -hmm, and he and mm -hmm, he buries mm -hmm. his kid near a bar and he starts going to the bar and they're like you're going mm -hmm. to our bar too much you got to leave so he gets really fucking pissed drunk and he's and he's like henry emily killed my son and took my business and and he goes to he goes to their pizzeria and he notices henry emily's daughter outside little little old charles emily getting oh. taunted by a few kids and has mm -hmm. this fucking mm -hmm. urge and murders her. Oh, and he leaves and he goes home and this murder is found out and Henry Emily suspects William but doesn't do anything about it for some reason which is weird mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. police mm -hmm. don't mm -hmm. are unable to find anybody and but 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 William is like, "Oh dude, you know what? I actually think I kind of fucking like uh like uh, murder. So yep. he at his mm -hmm. at, at the pizzeria decides to do a little more uh, murder, and and he disguises himself by by luring kids in with a bunny suit, the one that he made to back room mm. to murder them. And he and it's actually going really good. He's doing the murder great until the fifth murder he does, technically oh, the sixth, yeah. but the f the fifth kid he murders, whose name <laughs> is is Cassidy, and he murders mm -hmm. the shit out of her so hard that like everybody's like, oh, murder happened here for sure. And mm -hmm. and and so then and so then oh that son of a bitch gets in trouble because the police come through, but they're like yep. oh we saw somebody in a, a mask kill people but like we can't confirm it because they didn't have DNA and they didn't know that DNA was a double helix formation back then it was too long right. ago, so instead science man instead science the, wasn't good enough the only thing that that is done is Henry Emily's like I have to kick you out of the business and I have to shut this place mm -hmm. down because too much murder happened. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and William, William, at this point, he starts getting more into robotics. He even makes some robotics to, like, follow and terrorize around his eldest son to make sure he's not getting up to no hijinks. Decides, decides, you know what, man? 
I'm not going to let him operate this business without me. I'm going to go undercover, like undercover boss as a security guard at his business and then do more murders. And so, he, and so he goes and he just does the murders. He does the murders raw. And by the way, while he's doing these murders, he's stuffing all the kids in all these suits and all the mm. animal suits to hide them because nobody would check mm -hmm. the suits even though they're soaked with blood and they smell horrible. Nobody checks them because right. they don't want to clean it. It's so much work. No. And, so, and so he does five more murders and then mm -hmm. and then and then and then fucking leaves again and then they and then they shut down the place and and you you would think it would be over then but it's not because William Afton saw something suspicious with the other animatronics that he put the kids into earlier and he thought mm -hmm. that, that something weird's going on so under his house unbeknownst to his really really oblivious and possibly dumb children he makes a <laughs> giant fucking circus that is supposed to have a bunch of animatronics and the day before mm -hmm. it's supposed to open his daughter, who usually listens to him all the time, doesn't listen to him, gets too close to one, and, and the fucking same, bang, snaps her damn neck, and she is stuck inside of it. And you'd think he'd yeah. be sad, but the eye color changes from blue to green, which maybe entails that the soul of his daughter is now trapped with inside the animatronics, which could perhaps mean the soul mm -hmm. of other people can be saved or valued through animatronics, and he gets excited by this. Yeah. That's and so, you gotta listen to your parents, man. You gotta, you gotta listen to your, listen your, you gotta listen to your parents. Always. And, and so then, so then he goes to one of the abandoned places and he's, and he's, and then he, you know, he starts f melting all the metal down from all the animatronics Ooh. and he realizes there's this thing called remnants, the remnants of yeah. the souls of the people he murdered. And he doesn't exactly yeah. know how it works, but he knows the souls are retained and he wants to use the souls to rebuild his boy and rebuild oh. his girl and rebuild his family. Yeah. And, and and but instead what happens is a bunch of ghosts see him there and they're mad at him for fucking killing them and shit. And so and so to to try to get out of this situation cuz he doesn't know how scary ghosts are. He gets into his famous bunny costume. But he mm -hmm. fucks up and somehow a third time, it's almost unbelievable, Matt. It's almost unbelievable. Somebody's head snaps from a spring trap and he dies. But ah, does he actually really? die? No, yeah, right. because his mm. soul is still alive. Oh, and, no. and a security guard sees it, and they call Henry Emily, and Henry Emily sees William Afton's body, and he goes, yeah. nothing to see here, folks, and he leaves. Mm. And for mm. 30 years, nothing happens. And now yeah. we switch, because the, at, the, at its core, FNAF is the story of the Afton family, to mm. Michael Afton, the son mm -hmm. of William, mm. who has this mm. traumatized youth. And notices his father's disappearance and says, well, shit, my dad said if he ever left to check out his fucking uh, his uh, secret base in our house. And then he finds out, oh, shit, there's a big secret base in our house. And my dad's actually kind of like a psychopath. And I need to correct the wrongs of my father. And so he mm -hmm, tries to mm -hmm. save some of the animatronics that he think might be his sister. And, and they kind of trick him into getting scooped. And I don't know what that means, but the boy gets fucking scooped and he becomes yeah. purple. And that's weird, but most Whoa. people just think it's a costume for some reason. And mm -hmm, now mm -hmm. this purple man gets a bunch of jobs as a security guard at every establishment that is shut down that's getting vandalized and tries mm -hmm. to burn them down one by one by one. And he does so, but it didn't really work. Every time he burns them down, it doesn't really work, even though it's supposed to somehow get rid of the remnant until Henry Emily, he's back. Uh-oh, bitches. And he's like a hundred at this point or some shit. I don't even know. He, yeah. he, 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 he makes, he makes a new establishment. He makes a new establishment and, mm -hmm. and it's to lure the souls of all of these animatronics. And he, and then the new security guard happens to be Michael Afton and he burns it down. And that, and that, in oh. this beautiful speech from Henry Emily should have been the end of everybody. But... Right. The soul but, of Charles no. Emily, the son of Henry oh. Emily, who was trapped inside the security doll, keeps yeah. William Afton alive as an act no. of retribution and punishment. But it's actually a failure because it keeps him alive and he's able to God. do more nefarious things. And then I think his wife gets involved, but I stopped actually understanding because I got annoyed. <laughs> wow. You, you know, you know, the Shia LaBeouf slow clap. Yeah, that's what I'm doing for you right now. Really? I'm 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 sitting here in an empty auditorium, listening to that, and with tears in my eyes, just slow clapping, and that was beautiful, Ludwig. That was beautiful. I, dude, I tried so hard. I absorbed so much, and I'm so confused. But I also think I kind of understand some stuff. <laughs> you did a fantastic job of nailing my theories. Congratulations, you done it. And I think because of that, you've probably nailed a good solid 80 to 85% of the lore. And anything that you missed is stuff that I missed.